Hey guys, uh, this is going to be my first video jiu-jitsu related content uh, and I just want to be specific that as a blue belt I'm not addressing higher uh, belt levels and that I'm really focusing on white belt and blue belt levels uh, and the content that I'll be creating will be based on my own experiences. Um, so anybody of higher belt levels feel free to add in the comments section. Um, there's a lot of conversation out there basically about how often people should be training as a blue belt, uh, white belt, or really any belt level for that matter when it comes to time in. And there's a few variables that have to do with this, basically knowledge retention and the understanding the difference of what is required at that level. And a lot of that has to do with knowledge retention and a list of prioritized moves for that level. Generally speaking, your coach is gonna have an idea of the curriculum for that belt level, and you can ask him about that so you can kind of prioritize your training. You're gonna see a lot of different stuff um, through the course of your two or more years at that belt level, and there's gonna be some neat stuff out there, but it's important to prioritize what your coach is actually looking for that he has out there that you need to learn in order to you know, continue on your, on your journey. Um, the other thing is, is that the hours on the mat, most people will tell you that you know, an hour three to four times a week is adequate. Whereas I found that you can greatly improve your game by just putting in more time on the mats, just like anything else. More time equals more experiences equals better technique and skill at your chosen, uh, you know, des desired goal. Um, so the other thing is, if, if everybody else in your class is training three to four hours a week, you need to train more. Um, a couple of ways you can do this is by, uh, you know, taking part in extra classes whenever you can, if they're available, or to seek out, you know, seminars, um, open mats, and, uh, you know, Solo drills is a, is a very important thing you can do to, uh, you know, kind of up your game when nobody else is around you to train. Um, the biggest thing that I can say to young people who are just getting started, st stay at it while you're young, man. Your body uh, is not going to be able to do the same things once you're older. As a 35-year-old blue belt, I can say that I really wish I got through some of the hard grinds of the white belt and blue belt level uh, before I, my body became uh, less adequate to deal with the kind of punishment that it's going to go through. And just remember that devotion is time. You cannot be devoted to anything without putting the time in. The more time in, the more devoted you are, the better the results are going to be.